excited for him to go somewhere else. Spirit's good, she's got attitude. The drought has hit us hard. flopping around on the ground over here. <laughs> there you go. Hey guys, Dusty Baker at Cross Turners Bison. Welcome back to our channel. Marissa and I are about to load up some of our yearlings and take them to mom and Kevin's, where there hadn't been any grazing really going on, not a whole lot. Since we don't have very many animals over there, we're gonna load up the yearlings and take them over there because the drought is serious again and has hit us hard. And uh, we need some more grass, we need some more ground, and so we're gonna load up the yearlings, take them over there so we can have some more pasture room for our big herds. And uh, we gotta get them caught first. So Marissa and I are gonna go catch them and then we're gonna get the trailer hooked up. We're gonna back it up to our loadout and take these to the original place. Hey there, little bull. What do you guys think about this little bull here? This is the jumpers, little boy. Not so much little, and the more first bull ever born at the Cross Timbers Bison Ranch here at the Ponderosa, 254. So the two right here means the year he was born and the 54 is right after his mama. The 54 Texas cow that uh, likes to jump cross fences. But so far she hasn't been doing it anymore. Caught her a couple times. He's a nice long bull, but he's only a year old. So he was born on, um, I think in May last year is when he was born. You can tell here, this is a Dunbar baby. Got the big top shoulders and short body. You never know how it's gonna go when you try to catch some yearlings. Marissa and I had a hard time on foot trying to corral them, so we went and sat in the office, opened all the gates. 10 minutes later, they showed up on their own. So we got all of the yearlings here in our corral. To the other side. Now it's time to gate cut them and load them out.
need to separate them, they'd be okay. Good job. I'll go let her back in. You have to shut. You have to shut that. Okay, I got it here. Here's your phone. Thank you. All right, we got the yearlings let go out here. So some of these uh, yearlings are actually were born on this place. Uh, this is the first time we've had animals out on these pastures in oh since this past spring um, in April, basically. And so they've had lots of good rest time. We're we're in the drought now, and uh, we had a really good early summer. And uh, since then, the heat has came on and the rain has stopped here in the uh, south central Oklahoma region. There's been rain in Oklahoma, but as far as south central Oklahoma, it has been missing us so much. And uh, it is very dry here. It is very brown, as you can see. This is one of the hay meadows here at the original place at my mom and Kevin's. But uh, got 10 earrings in this bunch, and some of them were born late last year. I think August of last year, we had five of them kind of some late bloomers there so they're uh, i guess some of them are going to be yearlings this month so anyways got them out here rotated it gives us a little bit more room at the ponderosa with the drought that we're going through right now we're running out of grass and uh we're running out of grass fast because uh there has been no green growth in, in a month or so um because of the lack of rainfall and so we're just a basically a repeat of the past two summers which is you know nothing new but it just really sucks whenever uh, you get all this great rain in the early summer uh, spring and you get excited and then reality kind of sets in um here in july and in august and uh it just sucks and there's nothing you can do about it but uh we got to get animals on grass and uh so that's when we brought these youngins uh back over here to mom and kevin's with some new ones as well well i'm send some over here at the original place you guys take a look see what you think about this lady right here <laughs> she's jazzed up health is good she's lost some weight but holding on now getting feed getting cubes and getting hay fresh water Doing okay, as far as we know. <laughs> Still got a little attitude, but that's okay. Deservingly, it's all right. And you guys look who else is here? Mr. Thor. Hey, Thor. Hey, Thor. Yep, I think she's doing okay. Spirit's good, she's got attitude. So, we'll give her that. All right, mama, glad you're doing okay. All right, guys, we are back at the Ponderosa. Something exciting I was wanting to bring to you guys. It's the uh, first time we've done this, but we, uh, we just recently sold Eleanor's very first bull. And uh, he's going pretty far away, and we're excited to see him go to some good people. And uh, yes, Eleanor's very first bull. We've uh, kind of showed you guys him uh for a long time and kept him kept you guys updated with him he's been at uh mom and kevin's at the original place he's he was born and raised there he is a dunbar baby and eleanor's like i said her first calf and bull calf and uh man that bull exploded after two years old he became a very nice looking bull and that's kind of the reason that we um wanted to sell him as a breed bull and so raised him up and stuff but uh it's time for him to go and uh 
spread his love elsewhere. <laughs> Needless to say, but that's what he's going to go do. And he's going all the way up to Indiana. Here's how the day went and sending Eleanor's bull off. Curious. Come on. You gotta go to Indiana. Big boy. Go, go. You bet. Indiana. The Hoosier State. Is that what it's called? The Hoosier State? I think so. It'll be a good one. Excited. Eleanor's first bull headed up north. Dunbar's bull too. Excited for him. And it was uh, good to get uh, to you know when you when you put time and effort and you finally after about five years, it takes a long time for bison to get going. But you know after five years of uh, of this, we're finally starting to have some offspring that we can sell and whatnot. So that was really our first breed bull to sell and. Uh, Excited for him to go somewhere else and um, somewhere different. These guys that are starting out have been chatting with for about, I don't know, four months or so. And finally, we scheduled a date for them to come down. They've been building a brand new facility, uh, a brand new handling system, uh, brand new fencing corrals, everything from the ground up. We know what that's like, right? Uh, but excited for those guys, um, young guys that are starting to raise American bison. And what a pleasure it is to be able to send our animals uh, somewhere up north. And uh, yeah, maybe they could have got them somewhere else, but you know, they reached out to us and wanted to, wanted uh, really liked the way he looked. And after they came down here and saw our other animals, we sold them, you know, to yearling heifers that are also going with him because we couldn't just send him alone. Um, he's gonna get more animals up in Indiana, some mature cows, I believe. But uh, as far as uh, a breed bull and, and tr he don't have those animals yet. So I told him, I said, I said, man, you, you really need some females or, or one female at least to go with him. You can't have bison by themselves. And so um, he picked out actually two yearling heifers that we raised. And so they're going up north as well with Eleanor's bull. So we'll keep updated with them. Uh, but just fun for Marissa and I to do that and basically saw our first breed bull. So, and you guys got to be a part of it. So, hey guys, I also want to let you know. You guys can check out our website. If you're interested in buying any of our new meat boxes that we've put together, it'll ship directly to your door. You can buy our bison meat locally in downtown Sulphur at my mom's shop, Buffalo Hippie, located at 112 West Muskogee in Sulphur, Oklahoma. Thank you guys for being with us. We'll see you guys soon. Mm -hmm.